What, what is your take on today's yield moves? Uh, I mean, below 130, uh, close to 190 on the 10-year, close to 190 on the 30-year. Would you have expected that? No. Uh, I mean, it was a crowded trade, to be, to be clear. Everyone was uh, basically short bonds because all the rationale was in interest rates are, are going to go up. I still think they are. I think what happened, you know, I wouldn't call it a short squeeze, but I think when, when, when trades get too crowded, they get sh shaken out. And I think that's basically what happened. I mean, obviously, some rise in the, the fear of the Delta. Listen, these Treasury bonds are the, the ultra hedge asset that people love when, when uh, you know, there's threats around the world and uh, they fly to, to Treasury. So certainly when we got that warning from Japan, I think that accelerated the move in the Treasuries and then scared out the shorts later on. Do, do you think that the uh, economic rebound is genuinely slowing down? And, and which data points uh, are you looking out at uh, in the weeks ahead as the most important? Oh, by far, I think next Tuesday, the CPI report is what I'm looking at. I mean, the current estimate is for the overall month over month to be up five tenths and the core up four tenths. That's, a, that's one tick less than the month before, but that's still very hot. And if it surprises on the upside, like it certainly did when we got last month's data, I, I mean, I think that, that that definitely could be a market moving uh, event because I think that'll definitely force the hands of the, of the Fed to be much more aggressive at tightening, which I believe, uh, I believe they should be. I mean, uh, uh, the, these open market purchases, especially in the mortgage-backed securities, really uh, don't make sense given uh, the economy. And even given the little bit of slowness that we have, uh, that the economy is still very, very strong. So you would be expecting some kind of shift in Fed policy, either at Jackson Hole or the next meeting? What should investors prepare yeah, for? Yeah, either now? one. I mean, if we get a really hot CPI and then the day following PPI, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we get some announcement at the next Fed meeting. At the latest, it will be August, I believe, uh, when we'll get that uh, that tapering move. Uh, uh, but, I, you know, I think the inflation is going to be running very hot. And I think the Fed will be forced uh, to respond earlier than I think a lot of people think, uh, at least at this point. So is the pullback in yields, therefore, temporary? And what does all of this mean for U.S. stocks? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the pullback is temporary. Don't forget, it's a lot of things affecting interest rates other than just inflation. I mentioned the hedge asset. Uh, when there's threats out there, people hold them as insurance policies. Yes, they know that. Inflation is not good for bonds, but uh, the, they have a lot of sources of demand. Uh, pension funds are buying them right now. Uh, we, we've already heard a lot about foreign buying that comes in. So there's a lot of reasons to buy the bonds, not just uh, you know the poor inflation. But the poor inflation has, if it does get hotter, uh, I mean, that's going to be a Fed reaction, and uh, it'll affect both stocks and bonds, I think. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.